just do it, right? Ain't that the Nike commercial, just do it? And when I'm having a bad day and don't want to do this stuff anyway, get out here and do it because you guys are amazing at being my uh, shrink for me, and you, you really are. And I had a bad day so far today. It's uh, I freaked out on people I didn't need to freak out on. And uh, basically, they told me uh, my ba I have two bathrooms, the one in the back. Uh, basically, they need to rip out the whole thing and start over again. And it's like, what? It was an air conditioner that overflowed, and now they're telling me that uh, yeah, floor's got to be ripped up. We got to be a remediation. Blah 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 blah. blah and oh my God, that just opened up so many different things. It's like remediation doesn't that mean mold? And it's like I don't have the whole story yet, so um, I'm guessing. And like I said, I freaked out, so I do not have the whole story. And they need to talk to their people, and their people need to talk to to the property manager, and then the property manager needs to get back to me, and I need to apologize to him before this whole thing starts. Anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, but that just opens up all sorts of implications. It's like, well, hold on a second. I still am, except for this stupid rectal cancer, I still am a very, very healthy human being. Like, if it, I didn't have that, they'd be like, damn, he healthy, damn, 54, blah, damn, you know. So, um, besides that, I'm very healthy, and... And all this stuff started when I moved in. So, you know, it's almost like if there's mold, did the mold cause the cancer? Is that possible? And I just looked real quick and there were like three articles when I just searched and it was like, well, apparently it is possible, but it's not really acceptable from mainstream, uh, of course, because it's me, um, that uh, the my, my talk, myotoxin, something like that that I was reading about, um, that they, they could definitely contribute to a cancer diagnosis, um, but nothing has been directly linked to it. So um, this is just weird. I mean, the whole thing is just weird. I mean, it might be a blessing in disguise. It might be, you know, a, hey, by the way, we found what actually caused your cancer, and it was back there, and we're going to fix it. And you should be able to get better now. So this should all be good news, but it's the whole freaking out about the real world stuff about how the fuck am I going to pay for this shit? Oh my God. And that's, and pardon me for cussing, but I, I freaked out. I mean, I completely freaked out. It's like, oh my God, you have to do what? You have to rip up my floors, get a new floor. Holy. So, um, yeah, man, I kind of, I was tripping and I was trying to, trying to learn a new song. Uh, I was, I, uh, old song, uh, uh, T for Texas, T for Tennessee, but you know, Skinner and stuff. God damn, that boy's funky. Yeah, but I couldn't get into it. I like I completely lost the whole rhythm thing after that because that that one definitely is a. You gotta have the timing on that one down, dude. You know, <laughs> um, yeah, man, great tune, but I just couldn't. Do it. Like they broke my brain, so it's almost like um, I can can't do this stuff, and it's almost like I'm done for the day again. And this is this is what happens with with their drugs. They catch up to me. I'm able to handle them for a long time, and then they just kind of. I don't know about y'all, but I mean, I haven't had a drink in about 22 years, but um, vodka used to do that to me, man. Vodka used to sneak up and be pow, right in the back of the head, be, like, be cruising along, be like, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, and then pow, by the way, you're drunk. I am? Oh, thanks. You know, that's kind of like what, what this stuff is doing to me now. It's like, okay, I can handle it, I can handle it, I can handle it, I can handle it. Snap! And it's like, oh, man, and these people do not need to be freaked out on. They're trying to do their job. They're trying to help me, and I can't handle it. And that is the only thing. I keep trying to tell them that. And I, they all seem to understand, but it's more like, you know, I've got to stop doing this, and I need to find a way to stop freaking out on people. And... I wish the universe would stop with the bad timing because they keep doing it and I got to keep harping on I can't do this at certain times. And I just freaked out on them and said, I can't do this next week. I cannot do this next week. Tell Tom to contact me and we'll figure something out. But I can't do this next week because I will be on the pump and I will be freaking out even more. And my sister, my sister said, uh, I want to be involved in this from now on because she was going to be. And I thought to myself, I need to be able to handle this. I need to be able to interact with the real world. So I want to try this myself. I failed spectacularly. 
and uh, it might not have been a failure. It might it might might be like I said, a blessing in disguise. But my human ego is just like freaking out about all this stuff. And in the big picture, it might be super good for me just right now in this moment. I'm done and I can't handle it. And I would like to become a real person again. I'd like to be able to handle these things like people do instead of running around my parking lot going, oh my God, I can either pay for this or die. You know, and I literally was. And I'm loud, man. And if I'm yelling this in my parking lot, they probably throw me freaking briar and I'm in Mount Lake Terrace. So, you know, it's, you know, not cool, you know. Um, but uh, hopefully everything will work out. Hopefully you guys are watching this and going, oh, damn, but he's still here and he's 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 back and he's doing this and he's and, and you guys do help. And thank you. And this is why I'm saying thank you very much for the subscribers, because it's like, yes, thank you. Did somebody else gets it? And it's like, thank you. You're whatever I said in something somebody else identified with or, or was like, yeah, man, I could completely understand, you know, and, uh, you know. I want to do good in this world. I want to be a better person. I want all these things. I want to be able to interact with people the way I know I can, but I keep freaking out and it irritates me and just makes me freak out more. Anyway, I think I'm done babbling. Thank you guys so much for, for watching and listening. If you made it this far, wow, thank you. Um, please subscribe. Uh, I try to get that into the points, but I think I forgot. And, I am going to get better and I'll be back tomorrow and I'm going to maybe I'll try that, you know, Skinner thing, see if I can get that down and have people not freak me out by tomorrow. I got a therapist appointment tomorrow and those things seem to trigger me, too. It's like I I think it's for the better, but it's all, you know, in the moment, it just completely and utterly sucks. Um, but he's there for you. I mean, always look up. He's there for you. And um, I hope to see you then. Peace.